Yo, welcome to the Vibe Provider Podcast. I'm your host, Caitlin Friel, and today's episode is Funny Things Students Say. And I figured I'd do like a back to school type episode just because it's school time again and everyone did their back to school shopping and are back at it. I think students are probably a little bit depressed. I mean, I did not enjoy back to school time, but I'm assuming parents are so amped. So anyways, I figured I'd kind of do a school type episode just because it's that time of year. Um, But before we get into the topic, I always do life update, current hyperfixation. And there's actually another thing I wanted to add. um, And I'll tell you when we get to it. But for my life update, I just went camping for a week and had the best time. Um, I slept in a Minky Couture sleeping bag, which is so bougie. (laughs) Um, If you don't know what Minky is, it's just like a really soft blanket, but sewn into like a sleeping bag. And um, it was amazing. And it made sleeping on the ground so much better. I mean, I did sleep on sleeping pads. So, but yeah, it made tent camping not terrible. I felt so cozy in it and I just had to tell you (laughs) that minky sleeping bags are a game changer. But we went camping in Swan Valley, Idaho, which is about a four hour drive from Salt Lake City Um, and it's near Jackson Hole, Wyoming and it's just a super pretty place. Uh, It's near some reservoirs, so we did some swimming. Um, we paddled around in some blow up kayaks that my parents had. Burn and Pete were just swimming. They have life jackets cause they're not like the world's best swimmers, but, um, the life jackets definitely help <laughs> keep them alive and floating. Um, we had some awesome camping meals, which normally when we go camping, I'm like, whatever's easiest and we don't have to bring a ton of, but since we were going to be camping for a week and we camp with my parents are like a little bit more bougie cause they have like a trailer and we can actually like cook things. Um, so we ended up cooking all our meat before we got there, which was a game changer. And I had to tell you so you can know that information for the next time you go camping but we had tacos one night and we had the taco meat already cooked up we had um spaghetti and we had meat to our jarred sauce and that was cooked up we had chicken teriyaki bowls and the chicken was cooked up you get the point but it made it so fast and so easy to just like whip up dinner so i highly recommend cooking your Uh, meat before you go camping so shout out to my niece for cooking all that meat up before the trip that was really clutch um and then we had square ice cream so swan valley has this like ice cream shop in a gas station and they don't like scoop the ice cream with like an ice cream scoop it's like this mold and they literally just push it into the ice cream and then like put it on your cone and it's square (laughs) but they have huckleberry flavor because huckleberry or because Idaho is the land of Huckleberry, so my family was definitely getting their fix on Huckleberry ice cream. But we went to Jackson Hole, and I got to design a trucker hat. Um, it was so cute. The store was called Midnight Lunch, and it's across the street from like Jackson Hole Square. And it's kind of just like any little small business shop. Um, but they had this like little bar where you could custom design a trucker hat. And so you got to pick out like your decals and patches. And they even had like little charms you could add to your hat and little chains. It was so cute. So I ended up designing one. I'll post a photo to my Instagram so you can see. It was so cute and fun. So if you ever go and you want to design your own trucker hat, I went to midnight lunch and it was kind of pricey, but it was so cute. And I love it so much more than any of my other hats because like I designed it and I added all the fun flair. So I'm super pumped about it and I can't wait to wear it. I feel like I wear hats more in like the fall and winter because like if I have a hat on my head, dude, I am getting warm. So I'll probably wear it more when it gets a little colder, but I'm so pumped to wear it. Um, Oh, and I got a report back. We did get a cute family photo in front of the antlers. Um, If you don't know or haven't been to Jackson Hole, there's this um, like town square and they have 
antler arches at every corner of the square and it's kind of just like an iconic photo that you get if you ever visit um and my niece got a super cute family photo of me and claw and burn and pete um so anyways i'm probably put, gonna put it on the christmas card we'll have to show you um again i'll post it to my instagram so you guys can see it was such a fun trip and jackson hole is such a cute town to visit so if you've never been to jackson hole put it on your bucket list i think it's so cute and you can visit the grand teton national park and it's so pretty the teton mountain range is stunning and i literally am in awe when i look at it um it just it's just a special place. So add it to the bucket list. It's such a great spot to visit. But we ended up going swimming some more. Burn and Pete were just swimming after Kala. It was so cute. Um, and then our last day, we went to the Grand Teton National Park. And it was the most fun, chill day. We sat in a creek. And we ate lunch. And we got a cute picture in front of the Tetons. Uh, and it was just like such a great trip everyone was able to slow down and just enjoy themselves and everyone was able to take it easy um but before moving on to my current hyperfixation my friend Casey she does my nails and these new nails are a uh, double slay we did cheetah print nails we did some full cheetah print we did some french tip cheetah print we put a star and cherries and some red like they're so cute i'll post a picture um i am so obsessed with these like they are my most favorite nails i've ever had in my whole entire life um so had to tell you about it okay but moving on my current hyperfixation buying another freaking car because for those of you who don't know my dog mom car um, rest in peace. She died of old age and she was a little Honda pilot and she was perfect. And I loved her. She was the perfect size. She wasn't too big. She wasn't too small. Um, the seats laid flat for the dogs in the back and we just went everywhere in that car. Um, but she died. And so I thought I was going to buy my dad's friend's car, but he just like, is in a rush to sell it. And I totally get that. Like no rush. Um, but I'm in a rush. So I ended up buying a 2003 Subaru Outback because um, I needed a car just to get around. And I knew my nephew was going to get his license, which he did. Congrats, Nui. Woo! Um, he got his license and he said he would buy the Subaru off me um, so then I could buy my dad's friend's car. Um, and the day came, he got his license. And so now I need to sell him the Subaru but my dad's friend isn't ready to sell his car yet. And I think I just need to move on in life and just find something else. And so I've been like super overwhelmed about buying cars. It's not my favorite thing. Some people love to buy a new car, but I don't because I don't want a car payment. I like, I like just living, you know, having a car that was perfect size and everything. It's hard to just like replace a car that was so perfect um and so you're probably thinking like Caitlin why don't you just get another Honda Pilot um because it's hard because I don't want to get scammed and I'm just scared and I'm not buying brand new and so and plus I don't even like going to the dealership because we dealt with that for Kala's truck anyways making it long and it doesn't need to be long but I don't like buying cars I don't like searching for them I don't like finding them um but my dad is an angel and he's the one that actually found me my Honda Pilot. He is looking for some cars for me in Washington um, because he's just, he knows exactly what to look for. Um, he buys used cars all the time. So he is pretty good at like finding a gem. He's the one that found the Honda Pilot. Um, so we're hoping for good luck or so we're hoping for good luck round two. Um, grateful for Tracy and so hopefully he finds me something <laughs> and then I'll have to fly to Washington to drive it home but hopefully I can report back soon with a fun new or fun new to me car um but yeah so I've just been like hyper fixating on cars and looking and all that and it's not been fun but another hyper fixation that I'm gonna have is um wearing all my clothes <laughs> uh me and my friend we made an agreement that we are going to try and not wear the same outfit for a whole month. 
Um, we can like rewear the pants, rewear the top, but we're going to try and have a new outfit every day for September. So we just wear our clothes. I was telling her that I wear the same outfits like every week, like my laundry is always the same. Um, and that I'm either going to wear my clothes or go, go through and get rid of them. So what we're going to do is in September, we're going to actually, you know, my friend Missy, she's the one that did top five with me a couple episodes ago. Um, she is checked out kitchen on Instagram and she and I are going to post our outfits every day for September and we're not going to be little outfit repeaters. We're going to try and wear something new every day. Um, or just like not the same outfit, but we can rewear items. And then maybe after the month we'll see like, dude, we did not touch this. This has got to go. So and she's trying not to do um, low spend September and not buy new things. So I told her we should just try and wear the clothes that we have. And we'll see how it goes. So I'll probably be hyper fixated on like what I'm going to wear. Normally I have like no thoughts about what I'm going to wear until that morning. Until I'm ready to get ready for the day. But I think I'll probably be thinking about outfits like, oh, that would make a cute outfit. And kind of keep track of what I've been wearing and I think I'm going to be hyper fixated on that for the month of September. Um, and I'm not mad. I think it's going to be a fun hyper fixation. Um, okay. But something new I want to like implement on the podcast is things that I've written down in my notes that I wanted to tell you. Um, so here is what I wrote down this last week to tell you today. Um, my new jeans from Old Navy. I love them. My friend Danny. She shared some jeans on her Instagram stories and I wrote them down and I was like, I need to purchase those. And I got them in the mail and this is crazy of me to say, but I love them so much. I can compare these to how good my Abercrombie jeans are. I know that's crazy because Abercrombie jeans are are like elite to me. Those are like my most favorite worn jeans. I have two pairs of these old navy jeans already and I love. They came in a long option which I like to buy because regulars are too short on me. Um, so that's one awesome. Two, they fit so good in like the belly region and they make your bum look good even though they're like wide leg jeans. I love them. So I'll have to post the link to them because I kid you not, like, I will be, dare I say, buy a third pair of these. Um, Okay, but that's number one. Number two, I bought overalls from Old Navy. I've been trying to find, I think I've talked about this. I think it was a hyperfixation a week or so ago, and I was like, I'm on the hunt for overalls. So, Old Navy had a cute pair of overalls. I got them so ugly. I'm so sad. I don't know why I feel like I need overalls so bad. I have a pair of Carhartt ones. I just need to like be happy with those and like move on in life. But I just wanted like, the cutest pair of jean overalls and just have like the cutest fall outfits. But I don't think it's in the cards for me. So I was going to tell you that I got old navy overalls. But in fact, they are ugly and I will not be wearing them and I will be returning. Maybe I need to return them and get another pair of these jeans that I've been loving. I guess before moving on, let me tell you what these jeans are called, but I will post them on my stories or like a link for you so you know the exact ones. Extra high waisted sky high wide leg jeans and they have tons of colors and I am absolutely obsessed with them. So that's what they're called. Um, okay, but moving on, um, the third thing I wanted to tell you that I put in my notes app to tell you is I hate that people are cooking and not giving me the exact measurements for recipes. So the guy who makes the cucumber salads on TikTok, he's just splashing the ingredients in his little bowl with the lid. And he's not telling us how much. And I will not make something if I don't know the exact measurements. I can't measure with my heart like some other people can. Um, where I find these amazing meals on TikTok or Instagram and I save them to like remake them and they don't have measurements and I'm like how the heck am I supposed to make this meal um I wish I could just throw everything in the pan like they do I just can't so I don't make anything because no one tells me what measurements to use so that's annoying and it's really bothering me so that's it for that segment 
But really quick, I want to give my neighbor, Tim, a shout out. He is amazing. Right now, he is edging our lawn. Like, bless his soul. It was so bad. Like, I've been mowing it, but our weed whacker hasn't been working. Um, and we've bought new batteries, but we think it's the charger that's not working. And right now, he is edging our lawn, and it's looking stunning. Like, it hasn't looked stunning in weeks and weeks and weeks. Because, like, I'll tell you what, dude. Those lawns, they start growing over the sidewalk real quick. So, anyways, if you hear any yard work, our angel neighbor, Tim, is edging our lawn right now. And so, I need to go get him a little special treat after this episode. Okay. We made it to topic time. Um... Teachers, what's the funniest thing a student of yours has said? So for this episode, I'm reading the funny things students have said to or to teachers or in their class. Number one, a student told a teacher on my team, my cousin's a virgin because he doesn't eat meat. My coworker said, nope, that's a vegetarian. Luckily, we teach elementary, so it just went over everyone's head, but it was hard to hold the laughter in on that one. <laughs> Two, my sister is a kindergarten teacher and one of the kids was suspended for swearing. On his first day back, he comes into class and says, I'm back, mother effers. But he said the real word. The kid didn't have the best home life. (laughs) That kid has a big personality. You can just tell. Number three, not a teacher, but a bus monitor. One day on the ride home from school, a few kids were very restless, so I decided to tell some riddles. One riddle was, what can you catch but not throw? The first response I got from a student was, these hands. (laughs) I feel like Kalal would love that one. Number four. My daddy's a policeman. I found handcuffs in his bedside drawer. (laughs) I swear it's the younger kids, I think, that probably say the craziest things because they have no idea, you know, like if it's good or bad. Um, So I feel like the younger teachers, like in elementary school, especially like probably third grade or younger, probably hear the craziest things from students. Number five, one of my students whose first language is not English, couldn't remember the word skunk and called it a fart squirrel. (laughs) When I was writing that one down to say, I could not stop laughing. Um, It's just so perfect. Like, that's exactly what what skunk is. is A a fart squirrel. (laughs) Number six. I was offering a middle schooler advice. The kid's response, stop agreeing with my therapist. (laughs) But that's actually like kind of like a compliment to the teacher that she like is handling things very well that a therapist would be saying the same thing. Number seven, second grader. Oh, I didn't realize teachers had moms. Teacher, why is that second grader? I just never really thought about it, I guess. (laughs) <laughs> number eight oops my butt burped <laughs> that's so funny oh nine high schooler was visibly getting super frustrated during the test and when i walked up he said can you please just let me be stupid in my own way <laughs> 10 maybe for my formal debate i should use big words like perhaps senior 18 male like sir i feel like elementary kids are using the word perhaps (laughs) 11 doing a math problem that involves someone riding a bike six miles to the beach student that's gross take an uber and that just shows you some kids are privileged (laughs) 12 someone farted in class and it was awful i said someone needs to go to the bathroom instantly one of my fourth graders said someone needs to go to the doctor (laughs) and i couldn't breathe for 10 minutes and class was done i was i lost i lost all control and didn't care 13 seventh grader but he started it teacher it takes two to tango seventh grader but it only takes one to break dance and then proceeds to break dance That does sound like a 7th grade boy would do that. Okay, last one. 
Miss, it smells like vanilla ass crack in here. Uh, excuse me? Realization. Do you mean vanilla extract? Student. That's what I said. <laughs> I totally believed it. Kid was an angel and would never. Oh, guys. That is one thing I'm excited for as a parent is like having my kids just say the funniest things and like me just wanting to write it all down because stories like this are just so funny. Like I said earlier, I can't even imagine what elementary school teachers hear on a daily basis. But then I'm thinking and I'm like, you know what? High school students say the dumbest things too. That like every grade probably just has like the funniest quotes. <sighs> Anyways, I hope everyone had a good couple of weeks with gearing up to go back to school. I hope parents are getting that time that they need to recharge and energize. I feel so bad for teachers because for some reason I feel like that summer break just went by too quick and they're already back at it. So let us spoil our teachers, do all the things for them, offer to help cut out, laminate all the things, what you can bring for the classroom, the parties, like they do so much. So thankful for all the teachers out there. One thing I do like about back to school though is the back to school shopping, especially the clothes. I have seen some crazy back to school hauls on TikTok. I think I mentioned it in a couple episodes ago. Like I don't know how parents are affording back to school clothes and shoes. Like kids are showing several pairs of shoes, each one being like hundred like over a hundred dollars like some kids got some adidas sambas and hokas and like hokas alone are like 130 to 150 dollars anyways they're getting jeans they're getting crew necks hoodies like these things are not cheap so i'm just like parents how are we doing it like do i need to be starting to save now even though i have zero kids because like it's expensive please let me know how we're affording this because one that's great and two it's also kind of crazy but you guys it's the end of august next week is september um but then it's gonna be halloween thanksgiving christmas and it's gonna go by so quick but let's gear up for the holidays let's decorate for fall let's go get our fall candles but i just wanted to say thanks for listening and i'll see you guys next week bye